Hey guys, Slash West here, welcome back to the Beatemon Archive. Today we're going to be doing another bonus Let's Build, again because there was quite a hiatus there and I kind of owe you guys. So I've got a bit of a back catalog of some Beatemon that I've been saving up, so let's get into it. I've been wanting to build this guy for a while anyways, so today we have the blue clear version of Wild Wyvern, a really cool Super Beatemon. He's actually not that rare as far as these limited edition clear versions of uh, Super Beatemon Go, but he's still really cool to have. So, he's actually sealed. That Fighting Phoenix that I uh, unboxed last time was not sealed, but this one's still got the original tape on it. So, just gonna cut it here, hope I don't damage the box too much. So I actually have not seen these pieces out of the sprues yet. And... Oh, there's the instructions in there too. So, uh, I guess I'll just show the instructions again just in case you guys are curious. So, there you go. And here's the other side. Got Gumma over there, all the screws and stuff. And then here we've got the sticker sheet. See, the Fighting Phoenix sticker sheet from um, the black version was different, but this, I'm pretty sure, is like the exact same as the other one. I think, ah, uh, whatever. So, hold parts. These, I think, these are either exactly the same color as the original uh, wing and barrel and stuff, or just very slightly different. And only two clear sprues, so these are the main difference, really. Looks pretty nice. Not too much going on here, so this build should not take too, too long. Alright, pieces are cut out of the sprues, so let's just start building. So, just like Fighting Phoenix Black version, we're just going to put the whole parts together there, and then build the frame around them. So that's the left side and the right side there we go I actually did put the stickers on the black fighting phoenix but that is an opaque beat -em on there is no way I will ever put stickers on this guy there are some clear versions that actually have stickers um, like custom made for them like cobalt sabers shining form like that's a beat -em on that you could put stickers on and defend, but like I always say, you want to look through these guys. I really don't see why you would put decals on them. There's people who would argue not even to put decals on regular beat -em on but those are people that use their beat -em on more than anything. For me, I legitimately view so many of these beat -em on as just pieces of art myself. So I really, yeah, you know, for clear versions to really look like the art that they are, they need to not have stickers, but regular beat em on for the most part they do, unless we're talking about ES. Those beat em on were designed well enough that they really don't need them. Hmm. Let's see if I can do this. This spring seems weirdly long for the trigger it's with. Ah. <sighs> What a finicky... Alright, there we go. And, so you've still got an extra trigger, and this barrel that we can attach with OS gear. But there we go. That is Wild Wyvern Clear version. Super, super cool. And over here, I've just got the normal version of Wild Wyvern. Two of them together. Super, super glad to finally have this guy built. This is gonna look great on the shelf. Can't wait to review it eventually, but we've got a lot of other stuff planned before that. <laughs> That's for sure. And as a bit of an update, here is the fighting, the black fighting phoenix. I actually added the stickers, although they're peeling a bit, but I really do like them, and I do like that they're custom made for the black version. They're they're not just the regular stickers. So that's pretty cool. And I wasn't really going to showcase this until the next review, but ah, whatever. I've made you guys wait more than long enough. So this is 
the new rotisserie they picked up. I've seen other Beatamon YouTubers use these and I really like the kinds of shots you can get with these. So here's a nice money shot of the uh, clear version of Wild Wyvern. Especially with clear versions with the lights, I really like the kind of aesthetic we can get with this. That said, that's about it guys. So this is Slash West and I'll see you next time on the Beatamon Archive.